Hey, what's going on, Sagittarius? Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do your October monthly read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Um, if you haven't already and you like my channel, you like the vibe, um, pull up a chair. <laughs> like and subscribe. Hang, hang out for a while. Um, join the family. Uh, my Tarot family is growing every day and there's always room for anybody else that wants to join. Um, you know, always feel free to, to comment down below, uh, shoot me an email. Um, all that, all that information to get a hold of me is in the description box down below. Uh, for all you that already have joined, uh, you know I got nothing but love for you, seeing how I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm a little bit biased, but uh, I got a special place for y'all. Uh, you guys show me lots of love, um, keep me grounded. Um, you know, I enjoy all the emails, the, the donations, the you know, the comments, you don't leave me, leave me guessing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to be using uh, the Gilded Tarot Royale. It's the same as the Gilded Tarot. I, I used to use that a lot, except for it doesn't have the borders. Um, I really enjoy this deck. I always enjoyed the Gilded Tarot, but I didn't like the borders. So I want to grab this one. And it's really easy to shuffle. But I'll stop ranting. Uh, and let's get it. What do we have for Sagittarius? What is going on for Sagittarius for October? All right, Sagittarius. So the first thing I see, Sagittarius, is you got someone coming in. You got someone new coming in. Now, I feel like you have options that you're not even aware of, right? As of right now, I feel like there is probably more than one option, at least. Um, but I feel like one of those options is someone... I feel like you're kind of... You're kind of moving away from one of these people. Now, as it stands, the options may not be... The options may not be um, apparent to you right now, but as we move on, coming up, things are going to start to come more to light. Um, like I said, I feel like there's one person that you're already dealing with. Now, this may be a past person that you're still kind of still kind of in and around you. Um, but I feel like with this person, this person gives you a lot of doubt. Um, this person doesn't seem to be on the same page. So I feel like that is an option. But I feel like you've kind of, like I said, I feel like you don't feel like there's a whole lot of forward movement there. Um, we got that King of Swords in reverse. You know, just... 
you're not on the same page. And and I feel like you've already you've already kind of looked three steps ahead and, and just kind of seen where this was going. Now, for this other person coming in. Now, I feel like when you meet this person, and I feel like you haven't met them yet because I feel like it's new energy. And if you have met them, I feel like it's very recent. But with this person, this is going to be somebody that, that really gets you. And really, you know, someone that you can really have a good time with. Uh, someone that makes you laugh. Someone that I feel like this person is the type of person that's going to be there for you when you need someone to talk to. They're going to be there. They're going to be very nurturing, um, very caring, very giving. Now, I feel like when you first meet this person, um, I feel like it's going to catch you a little bit off guard because I feel like because of that last person, I feel like you're finally uh, getting back on track with stability. So it's almost like you're not really looking for somebody else. It's almost like you're still kind of... Um, you know, ending that old cycle like we have with the world card here. Uh, I feel like that past person, that cycle is, it, you're trying to complete it. Um, concentrate on stability, concentrate on your own, um, your own self moving forward. So when you meet this person, it's almost like you didn't expect it to happen because you weren't looking for it. Now with this person, you're getting someone very confident, someone that knows what they want. And like I said, you're also getting someone that makes you laugh, someone that you have a good time with, someone that you feel very comfortable talking to. Um, and I feel like even though you didn't expect this to, to manifest into anything, I feel like you're going to start thinking about this person more and more. Um, you know, moving forward, you're going to start having those little daydreams about this person. You know, taking a step back and... And I feel like there is going to be a moment when you take that step back and, and really start to bring into focus what this person is actually bringing into your life and, and seeing how you how well you get along and how much you enjoy their company is going to make you want to, you know, rethink that not really looking for anybody thing. Because generally what happens is when we're not looking, that's when somebody really, you know, a true connection can really catch us by surprise. Uh, I feel like it's all about trusting your intuition here. I feel like even though you 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 felt like maybe you were gonna take a break or maybe you felt like you were still getting um you know your stability in order, so you weren't really looking for anything new, even though that's kind of where you were at, I feel like this person brings a lot of emotional fulfillment. You know, not only is there a lot of I feel like there's a lot of fiery passion. You know, I feel like there's a lot of uh, physical attraction, but there's also a lot of mental. And, and I feel like all that's gonna move into uh, more of an emotional connection. And I see this, this is bringing big changes into your life. Now, I feel like when you were concentrated on building the stability or concentrating on getting over this past person or letting this past person go, I feel like you had this new person come in and it's not what you expected, but it is what you wanted. And it's sometimes the world is funny that way. Sometimes when we least expect it is when, is when it comes in. Now with this new person, I only see you, you coming out on top, you know, all about victory, all about winning, all about getting a true connection. Um, I see a lot of good fortune coming with this person. Like I said, I feel like it, I feel like it was just in the just in the right moment. This person, it's almost like they showed up exactly when you you kind of really wanted somebody, but you weren't expecting anybody. Um, and that's when true connections sometimes really pop pop up on us, uh, catch us by surprise. It's almost like we felt like you know it wasn't gonna happen, or or it just wasn't the right time for it to happen. Love doesn't love doesn't work on your time frame. It comes in when it wants to. And like I said, with this new person, you're getting someone very caring, um, very loving, very passionate. Someone that's there for you. Someone that makes you laugh. 
They understand when you need, you know, that lightheartedness and, and then they're free to provide that. But I see a lot of good fortune coming for the both of you. And I see, you know, this, this is going to help you move into that next level. Um, I do see a lot of big changes coming for you. This person is very confident as well. I see, I, I get a strong sense of another fire sign, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have some air, so Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. A little bit of earth in there as well, and a little bit of water. I, you know, we're kind of dealing with all signs here. But like I said, this person is like a breath of fresh air. You know, I feel like the only reason you were kind of taking a step back and thinking about your stability and... And, you know, I feel like it's because of this past person that you were dealing with. It's almost like you weren't ready to get back into something that ended up not working out. But with this, I feel like it's just going to feel right. You know, and it's all about trusting your intuition here. Uh, if it feels right, then it's right. You know, if your intuition is going to tell you which way to go here. Like I said, this person, I don't see any hidden agenda on this person. Uh, I do feel like they do want someone they can build a future with. But they're not in a big hurry to make a, a big, a big leap of faith into a into a committed relationship. I feel like they're really um, looking for someone they could build with, someone that you know that has the same uh, kind of mindset and same end game. Now, like I said, I feel like it's going to start off in a in a in a very um, physical connection, but it's going to move quickly, you know, into mental, then into emotional. Um, but like I said, this person is going to bring a lot of balance into your life. And I feel like that stability that you're hoping to build is going to only be furthered by this person and not hindered. Um, that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care and stay safe. And always know that, you know, that right person, uh, can come in at any time. And, and a lot of times it'll be when we le least expect it. You know, sometimes when we're really looking looking hard um, for a partner, it's really hard to find because it's almost like we're too focused on it. You know, we have tunnel vision, so we're kind of missing the things around us. And when we're not concentrated on it, that's when it seems sometimes to really come in because it's almost like our energy is free. You know, we're not focused on it. So we kind of get to see what's all around us. Um, take care.